lot of people that can't afford legal help that need it, but aren't aware that they can come here to get it. I don't know what I would do if neighborhood legal had not helped. is the organization here in our community which gives a voice to pursue the rights of poor people in need in the justice system, in the courts, before judges and juries every day. Ms. McKee called me and she says, Ms. Linda, we won your case. You reinstated back on Section 8 housing ASAP and congratulations, and I thank you very much. The consequences of me not getting the benefit um, back for me and my family provided, we could have possibly been um, homeless, possibly been living with relatives, and I just really appreciate um, everything that NLSA did for me and my family. There are women every day who struggle with domestic violence and custody issues and can't afford to get representation, oftentimes don't even know where to turn to. And thankfully, Neighborhood Legal Services is here today to help women get those types of services. I myself, uh, many years ago, how I came into contact um, with Neighborhood Legal Services, um, actually was a client and found myself in need of assistance with filing for a PFA and fleeing from a domestic violence situation. I had no idea where to go, so thankfully Neighborhood Legal Services Services was here to assist me with that. We are the ones that um, help them get their money when it's being denied by uh, the benefits agencies. We're the ones that help them from being evicted. We help abused uh, women. Um, so our job is to help people in a crisis situation doing what we can do to help them solve some emergency situations that are beyond their control. Most of it, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, legal services clients are just, you know, Poor people are just poor because they want to be poor, and they create their own problems. Well, it just simply isn't so. Our clients at Legal Services are always willing to do the best they can for themselves, and when they need help, they really need help, and we are the only game in town for them. You never picture yourself in this situation, and I've never been real good at asking for help. I've always been the one to help other people. And when you reach that point, you realize there really are people out there. You just have to take the initiative to go find them.